First diary entry number one. First of the series, I don't know how long it's going to be, but the topic is going to be about sort of the inner warrior, if that makes any sense. Lately, I've been feeling out of breath and overwhelmed. I think there is a difference between living up to your word and having to be proven right. People who always have to feel like they are right or they are correct may have an insecurity about them of being wrong. And I'm one of those people. I don't want to be. I want to keep my promises and live up to my word. But I don't think I should always have to prove my worth or my word. I think I listen to my ego and my insecurities more than I do things that might actually matter for me. If I walk, if I quack, if I look all like a duck, why would I have to prove that I am a duck? If I know in my heart and in my body and in my mind and hell even in, in my soul that I am a duck, why do I still have to prove it to me? to myself. I never really pay attention to how much things matter. I think I worry and care too much about how hard I work or what people think of me or what I may look like or how I go about myself. I think I need to value my own worth. Not work as hard, not, not pay attention to what people think or say. Now look in the mirror. I think I need to make things matter for me and make myself matter. Find value in myself and who I am and who I want to be. I like to put myself into consideration sometimes. And that's a resolution for me to find me, to find my worth. I'm exhausted. It makes me unhappy. Maybe
maybe if I didn't worry so much about the people around me and the things around me, maybe then I wouldn't walk on eggshells and be on edge so much. Maybe that's where some of my frustration comes from. I feel like I am able and capable. I feel like I can adapt and overcome. I feel resilient. But sometimes I get the idea that I need to show that and prove that just to myself. Like if I have the feeling I can do anything, why do I feel like I have to do everything? I even show it in the, the video games I play. I choose the most difficult option you can have in the game. And it isn't for the challenge necessarily, it's more as showing, showing off, that's what it is, it's showing off, to be proud, to be egotistical and narcissistic, I don't want to be that, I want to be humble, I want to, I want to be proud in the right ways, I want to be considerate. It's difficult to explain. It's difficult to put in words and sentences. I need to find the worth of me and I need to work for the worth I want to have. I'm tired of not doing what I want, not having what I want. And I'm not necessarily talking about materialistic things or events or, or places to be. I'm talking about things that I can healthily strive for and work towards. If I want muscles, then I can't keep wishing that muscles will appear on my body. I have to work out and lift, and lift weights. If I want to write a book, I can't keep wishing and hoping that I will eventually write the words down. I just have to work, write them. If I want to make make myself a sandwich, I just can't keep thinking about what kind of sandwich I want or or how how the sandwich would be made differently if I did it five minutes ago or if I do it five minutes later. I'd have a sandwich if I would just get up and make that sandwich. I make it sound so much less complicated.
and it goes both ways. If I'm hurt, then I should find a healing solution. If there's a problem, I should find a way to, to resolve it. If I'm doing things that are not good, I should not be doing them. But I know in time, I'll get where I would want and need to be. Tomorrow and today isn't just another day. Tomorrow is a step just like today. One step makes a flight of stairs. I can't always just look at the top. That's how I get overwhelmed too. Can't count to one million without one. And sometimes that's all I need is to just count, just count to one. Eventually, I'll get to 10. And before I know it, there's 20. Shit, if I can get to 20, I can do it again. There's 40. There's 80. Even... Even at 160, I'll have a little bit of relief and reassurance. I'll look back at the 159 steps before. Wow, I am at 160. If I can get to 160, why can't I do that again? And then I'm at 320. Same process happens. But maybe I don't feel so relieved. Maybe I don't feel so reassured. I get... I get a bit bummed. Oh man, I'm only at 320. Not even at a thousand yet, not even at five hundred yet. And I have to get to a million? Who has ever gotten there? But I can't stop. Stopping means to settle. Stopping means to stay stagnant. Stopping means to not make progress. Stopping may be worse than quitting. If it isn't quitting. This is something I kind of would tell myself on those hikes, on those mountains. Man, I had to climb all the way up there. I had to hike all the way up there with this giant ass pack on my back. No, oh, I'm not going to get anywhere just standing there thinking about it. I get somewhere by putting my foot in front of me. One step at a time. I don't have to run. 
I don't have to skip. I don't have to jump and leap. Just one step. One step. One more step. Just another step. If I stop at the middle of the mountain, fuck, I might fall down. So I make another step and another after that until eventually I'm at the peak. Oh man, now I'm at the peak. Can I just stay up here? Coming down from the mountain means I had to climb down. I had to hike down. Well, just like hiking up, I can hike back down step by step. And I'm not dismissing achievements from proving others or yourself that you can do something for ego. There's nothing wrong with achievements. There's nothing wrong with being proud of hard work. It's when you want to show off for the wrong reasons and you're doing it the wrong ways. I don't know if I found my inner warrior or if it's been there all along or, or what. I do know that I need more achievements. Not to be correct. I do know that I need more training and hard work. Not wishful thinking. Not what ifs. Eventually I'll get I'll get where I need to be.